Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video I'm gonna be testing out the kind of new Glam Light Red Velvet Cupcake Palette. This has been out for a little bit, but I was waiting for it to come to the Netherlands and it just did like last week and we're gonna be testing it out and I'm pretty excited about that. So let's get right into this video. So if you haven't been on my channel before, my name is Marley and I love making YouTube videos about makeup and beauty. I love doing reviews, I love trying out new makeup, I also really love trying out new indie makeup. It's really like what I'm personally the most into but I also like keeping myself a little bit accountable not buying too much kind of focusing on the things that I already own so if that sounds good to you if that sounds like something you'd enjoy then please consider subscribing so this is actually the first video I'm filming in like two weeks I went on a little vacation I did pre-film but I've been back for almost a week now and i just took it a little bit slow took it a little bit easy so i'm kind of like easing back into the youtube videos so i kind of want this to be a chill video just trying out this palette i also got the new icing ultimate eye base I already tried this like two times because I don't feel like you can say a lot about an eye base by just applying the eyeshadow and just giving your first impression. Especially with me, I really, really want to test out if the eye base can actually make your eyeshadow stay on. So I already have some thoughts about that. We'll talk about that later, but we'll also apply that in this video. So let me tell you a little bit about this palette first and show you some swatches. So we have the Red Velvet Cupcake Palette and this this is the box it comes in it's like a cute little oven when i just saw it i was like how do i open this how is this supposed to be opened and i was kind of confused for a minute but you have kind of like this this part that you open like this and then you open this and then there's the palette inside and the packaging of this palette is a bit like the glam light ice cream dream that is it has like a similar style and vibe and they also have like the sprinkles and the shiny how do you call this like the shiny part it has a cute little muffin or cupcake of course it has a cute little cupcake on the front and this palette actually isn't that big it's quite compact it definitely isn't as big as a glam light ice cream dream and yes we have the sprinkles that could move but don't really move a lot and i just think this looks really cute and i just really like how compact and small this is it's nice to have a little bit more of a small palette from this brand they usually do quite bulky big packaging so that's something i really enjoy i personally do hope that they are gonna do more packaging like this because i quite like this so this is what the inside looks like we have some purples we have some rosy nudes we have some reddish tones this is a matte red and this is kind of like a red to a pink duochrome. I think the shades look much more beautiful in real life than they do on pictures. When I first opened this palette I was like really impressed. I really liked how it looked and I really liked just the layout and the colors. I think there are just some really pretty colors in here and you can do some more colorful looks but you can go a little bit more soft as well and that is usually something I really like in a palette when you can kind of go both ways. So I will put up some swatches so you can kind of see what these colors look like i have really high hopes for this palette as you might know i'm really into glamlice formula i especially really really love the shimmers so i'm hoping that this is going to be kind of comparable to the glam light ice cream dream which is one of my favorite palettes of this year so far i'm so excited to start playing with this palette this is a palette that i've been waiting for for a little bit and it's finally arrived so let's get into the look so I zoomed you in a little bit and I'm going to be applying the icing eyeshadow base in the shade Classic Vanilla. This was the one I thought that was closest to my skin tone. This one was like 11 euros. So it's a bit more expensive when you order it here, but it's definitely less expensive than ordering it from the Glam Light website. So I don't know if you should shake this, but I did. I always shake it just to be sure. So that's what I'm gonna do, shake it a little bit. So I already wore this eye primer twice and the first time I wore it, my eyeshadow stayed on perfectly for the whole day. 
it looked really good i didn't have any problems with creasing i put it on in the morning put some eyeshadow on and then i checked in on my instagram stories to keep you guys to keep you guys posted but then the second day that i wore it i actually was outside a lot it was pretty hot i applied it pretty early in the morning and i went to this butterfly garden and it was pretty warm there because there was this exotic butterfly garden with exotic butterflies but in there it was kind of like how do you call it like a greenhouse like a greenhouse it was pretty hot in there and uh, my face was sweating and after we left the butterfly garden my eyeshadow was like gone it had completely creased and so this eyeshadow primer seems to work in some circumstances but in some it doesn't so in the most extreme like heat it doesn't really work so i'm hoping it's gonna stay on today like my eyeshadow is gonna stay on today i think it will because i'm gonna be home a lot but i really have to test it out a little bit more to really tell you if this works keep in mind that i have really really oily eyelids and if I don't wear an eye primer, my eyeshadow will be like completely creased in like an hour. And if I just wear like an average eye primer, it will be like two hours maybe. So I have really, really difficult eyes. So if you don't have such greasy, oily eyelids, then this probably will work for you. But this is like... My eyelids are the ultimate test because they are so oily. So I completely forgot to actually wash my brushes. So we're just gonna work with what we have. Let's see what I can do. I can go a little bit more purple, I think. Or I can go a little bit more red. Or maybe I can do a little bit of both. Like maybe a little bit of purple in the outer part and then a little bit of a red in the inner part. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna try that. I think I'm just gonna start with some purple in my outer crease. I'm gonna take this shade. This one is called Confection. And I'm just gonna apply that in my crease. I do like how eyeshadows like grab on top of this primer. I do feel like it's easy to blend your eyeshadows on top. And I'm already blending this eyeshadow too far in. I really like these types of muted purples. They are really my thing. Alright, that blended really easily. That was almost no work. Let's do the same on the other eye. That's a really pretty shade. I really like that. So this is what the shade Confection looks like. I really like it so far. Now I think I'm first going to go into the shade called Super Moist. Which is a very interesting shade name. I think this could be the one shade that's a little bit difficult to work with. So let's see how this builds on top of that other purple. I think this is going quite well. I do feel like you have to build it up a little bit to get it to like full intensity. But. But it looks really good once you do. And that also means it's easier to blend because you can build it up. And it's not like extremely pigmented right away. That's a really nice shade of purple. I think I just want to go over the edges a little bit with a brush without any pigment on it. Just blending this edge a little bit. Just going over it to diffuse. I think that's a nice purple. I think that's looking good. So... And now I think I want to go and put some things, some eyeshadow on the inner part of my crease. Let me first see if I have a brush for that. Alright, for this part I want to go into the shade Buttery first. And then I'm going to go into the shade called Red Velvet and put that in the inner part of my crease. Buttery looks a bit like a rosy shade. That's nice. That's a nice shade. I usually don't really bring in my crease shades this far. But let's try something new. Let's do something a little bit different. So that's the shade called a Buttery. Now I'm going to go into the shade called Red Velvet. And let's see how bright this is going to be. I thought this would be a little bit more of a warm red. But I think it definitely has some 
cool undertow, maybe a little bit pinky. That's that's pretty pigmented. That's pretty impactful. So I'm just gonna go over with a brush without any pigment on it, just blending everything together a little bit. I feel like that works best if you have really pigmented shades. This is sometimes the easiest way, easiest way to kind of diffuse the edges. Now for the next part, I want to go into the shade called Dazzling over here. And this looks like a really nice purple shimmer. It feels really creamy in the pan. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner. That's so nice. That's so pretty. I love that. Okay, so this shimmer is gorgeous i just really really love the glam light shimmer formula it's just so nice kind of like a cream but it's it does stay on my lids very well at least <laughs> at least i hope that's gonna be the case today because i did put on the glam light eye primer and not the primer that i usually use for the inner part i'm gonna go into the shade called decadent and this is a bit of a pink to red duochrome so i'm just gonna take that a little bit on my finger and put that over here wow that's really nice as well really beautiful and impactful kind of blending those together this turned into quite a colorful look i also can't wait to do a little bit more of a soft neutrally look with this palette but i thought for the first impression video i'd go for the colors so that pinky shimmer is really really nice i really like it this is what I expected and hoped to get. Now for the lower lash line, let me see. I think I'm first gonna go into the shade called Cupcake Heaven. This is a bit of a pinky, rosy, but more on the cool tone side matte. This looks a bit brighter on the eye than I expected, but I don't mind that. I really like this shade for the lower lash line. I think it works very well with the purple in the outer corner. And this look, this look is turning out to be quite colorful. It's a lot. All right, now I'm gonna go into the shade called Baked Goodies and I'm gonna apply that to the inner part of my lower lash line. And I'm gonna take a pencil brush to do that. I always like applying a little bit of shimmer there. I feel like that really finishes up the look and it's also a way to try some more shimmers. I don't feel like that made a huge difference because it's quite similar to that matte, but I do think it's a pretty shimmer. Just cleaning up this inner corner a little bit. All that pink doesn't have to be there. Then for the inner corner, I think I'm gonna go into the shade called Cream Cheese and this looks like a little bit of a peachy gold champagne shimmer. I think with such an impactful kind of colorful look, it's nice to kind of brighten up that inner part. The shade isn't like extremely light. I don't know if this would be like my perfect inner corner shade, but it is pretty. So this is what the look looks like right now. I tried quite a few of these eyeshadows. I think I actually applied most of them, which I'm pretty proud of. So I think I'm just gonna apply a little bit of liner, apply the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and give you my first impression thoughts. So this is the finished look. <laughs> it's a lot for me. It's a lot more impactful than I usually do. I have to kind of get used to it but I also kind of like it. It's a bit different but in a good way I think. So let's get into my thoughts about this palette. I think that all the colors that I tried, everything that I used worked really well. I really loved the shimmers. I really loved the formula and the creaminess that these shimmers have. And like that little bit of texture without being chunky or anything. Really enjoyed those. Also thought that the mattes blended really easily. They had a nice amount of pigment and the purples did build upon each other. You can see by my look, you can see that it became really like bright colorful impactful and i really like that you can go that route with this palette i do have to say this palette doesn't have a lot of depth i mean the purple goes go 
goes quite deep but you don't have like that extra step that one shade that's a bit dark that can really take you there that can really add that depth and smokiness so i kind of played around with an eyeliner i took the nabla cupid's arrow eyeliner in the shade this is the one in number seven i took that one and kind of played around with that to create that depth but this palette on its own doesn't have that and i feel like if uh, this one, this shimmer would have been like a really dark chocolate brown with a little bit of a purple undertone, then you would have like a really, really versatile palette. Now it just lacks that a little bit, but I feel in general that this is a really pretty color story and that you can do a lot with it. I just think these colors are really pretty. I can't wait to do more looks with this. I really, really like this palette and I usually don't do really really dark looks a lot so for me i'm not really missing that but i did wanted to mention that also i heard some people say that it's not really red and that's what you would expect with a palette that's called red velvet cupcake i don't really mind that i personally would much rather have a purples and rosy tones and then a palette full of reds but that's my personal preference i do get that that's a little bit weird but i did really like to see that this was the color story this is just really up my alley and of course i will update you i think in the description box how the eye primer worked if my eyeshadow wore long if it creased if it didn't I just really have to try this out and see so I will update you on that I do like the application I do like how it feels I do like how the eyeshadow blends on top but for me the most important thing is that my eyeshadow stays on so I'm gonna update you on that so that was everything for today's video I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments what you thought about this palette did you pick it up are you planning to pick it up or not don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you in my next video bye bye